Layers are a powerful tool for organizing scene geometry within 3ds Max. When you plan the setup of the layers based on the requirements of the scene, you can set up a very effective and productive layering scheme. This particular scene is a simplified version of the floors of a building with lighting and some very simple geometry that represents some furniture. From the main toolbar, click the Manage Layers button. This opens the Scene Explorer in the Layer Explorer configuration. The Scene Explorer is a very flexible, modeless dialog that you can configure to meet nearly any scene management need. This particular configuration is specifically for managing layers and objects on those layers. By default, all the objects are on the layer 0, which is created automatically by 3ds Max. The organization in this scene will consist of an overall building layer with two sublayers, one for the first floor and one for the second floor. First, make sure that there are no objects selected. In the Layer Explorer toolbar, click Create New Layer. When the layer is first created, you can rename the layer by simply typing the name. If, however, you deselect the layer, or are no longer able to rename it, right-click the layer name and choose Rename from the lower right quadrant of the Quad menu. Type the name Building and press Enter. Next, you need to create a nested layer. A nested layer is a layer within a layer. Nested layers allow you to create an organized structure that can be made to provide quite a bit of flexibility when working with and rendering a scene. To create a layer that is a child of the building layer, right-click the building layer itself and choose Create New Layer from the lower left quadrant of the Quad menu. You can also double-click the name in order to rename the layer. Double-click on the Layer 001 title and rename it to First Floor. Now you can add a nested layer for both lighting and furniture for the first floor. In the Layer Explorer, select the First Floor layer. It will highlight yellow. Click the Create New Layer in the Layer Explorer toolbar to create another nested layer. Name the layer FL1 Lighting and press Enter. If you see that your layers are going off the bottom of the dialog, simply expand the dialog, or use the scroll bar to scroll to the bottom in order to be able to see all the layers and objects. Click in an open area of the dialog to deselect any layers. Again, click Create New Layer. Name this layer FL1 floor. Deselect any layers by clicking in an open space within the dialog box. Click Create New Layer to create the third layer that will be used in the first floor. Name this layer FL1 Desks. The two layers that were created with no parent selected are at the very left side in the hierarchy, indicating that they are not nested layers. There are a few methods you can use to change the parent of the layer. The first is to drag and drop the layer on top of its parent. Click and hold the icon to the left of the name for the FL1 floor layer. Drag the layer on top of the first floor layer, and then let go of the mouse button. Now the floor and the lighting layers are nested under the first floor layer. To change the parent for the FL1 Desks layer, first select it, and then right-click and choose Add Selection to New Parent Pick from the lower right panel of the Quad menu. Click the First Floor layer to set it as the parent for the Desks layer. Now all three layers are nested beneath the First Floor layer. To add geometry to each layer, 
you need to select the objects first and then change their parent layer using either the drag and drop method or the right click method. Expand layer 0. Click the arrow to the left of the on off light bulb for layer 0. From the list of geometry, select first floor. Now click the sphere icon and drag the first floor object on top of the FL1 floor layer to place that object on that particular layer. Now select the first floor lights 01 object. Hold the shift key and click on the first floor lights 04 object to select all four lights. To change the parent for the lights, right click and choose Add Selection to New Parent Pick from the lower right panel of the quad menu. Click the FL1 lighting layer to place the first floor lights on that layer. In the Camera 001 viewport, click on the Desk 001 object. Press and hold Control and then click to select Desk 002. Right click on the Desk 001 layer and choose Add Selection to New Parent Pick from the lower right panel of the quad menu. Click the FL1 Desks layer to place the two desks on that layer. You can easily expand all the layers simultaneously. In the Layer Explorer menu, select Display Expand All. This makes it easy to check that your objects are all placed on the current layers. Once the basic set of layers are configured, you can use the layer properties to turn layers on or off, freeze entire layers, make them renderable or not renderable, or set them to display as a box. For example, to turn off the entire first floor, click the light bulb icon to the left of the first floor layer name. This turns the layer off as well as all layers and objects beneath it in both the viewport and the rendered view. To turn the first layer back on, click the light bulb icon again. By nesting layers, you can turn on or off individual elements of a layer. Turn off only the desks by clicking the on off option for the FL1 desks layer. This turns off the desks on the first floor and also causes them not to render. Turn the desks layer back on. When you click the desks layer, you select both of the objects within the scene. Now you can freeze these objects by freezing the layer. Click the snowflake icon for the FL1 desks layer. This freezes the desks on the first floor and turns them gray in the viewport. It also changes the snowflake icon light blue for the layer. In order to change the layer properties, the Select Children option must be turned off. Turn this off by clicking Select, Select Children. Click in an open space within the Layer Explorer dialog to deselect any objects in the layer. Then select the FL1 Desks layer, and then right-click it and choose Properties from the lower right quad menu. The Layer Properties dialog gives you access to the layer information, as well as general properties and advanced lighting properties. The Layer Information group contains a type in with the name of the layer, the active color for the layer, and the display style for the layer. The general panel contains options related to the interactivity, the display properties, rendering control, and motion blur for the selected layer. In the display properties group, deselect the show frozen in gray option and then click OK. The desks now revert back to their original color, yet they are still frozen. 3ds Max's ability to work with layers as nested layers in a hierarchy provides an enormous amount of flexibility 
and can dramatically increase your productivity.